and Allah knows best. Tfadu akhi. What do you do in a situation when you go to the gym and there's music and it's free mixing? Don't go to the gym. It's just that simple. If there's a problem in music, a problem in free mixing, and other issues as well, don't go. There's nothing wrong with physical activity in Islam. Allah Azza wa Jal, He loves the strong believer, spiritually strong, first and foremost. Mentally strong, secondly, and also physically strong for the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's nothing wrong with working out, running, being in shape, avoiding obesity, avoiding sicknesses and illness. That's, that's all from Islam. But there are other alternatives. If you have to sacrifice a bit of comfort or sacrifice some modern machines and technology and just suffice yourselves with a few basic things, and instead of listening to music and looking at women and men and homosexuals, etc., then that is what you should do. And at the same time, the Muslims, they should strive and they should work hard to make a halal gym in which there isn't free mixing, there isn't the music, there isn't the impermissible things, the, the glorifying of one's body and wearing tight clothes. And you don't need a million things, a treadmill, a bench press, a few things here, a few things there, and they're natural ways of staying in shape. And the last piece of advice is, is there's nothing wrong with being physically strong. There's nothing wrong with that. I want strong brothers around me. There's no doubt about that. I don't want weak brothers around me. There's nothing wrong with it. However, the concept of bodybuilding and taking steroids and eating this and drinking this and looking like this and wearing this tight, that's problematic. And that is a culture. The gym is much more than just physical exercise. It's a culture and it has a deeply rooted history. Read the history of modern civilization and where athleticism and marathons and Olympics, where it comes from. And as a Muslim, you will be utterly disgusted. So you take it, of course, with a balance. A balance, being strong, being fit. You can't walk up the steps without passing out and panting. That's not a good thing. But it doesn't mean that you have to spend hours and hours and hours taking pills, taking steroids, and trying to look like someone and wearing tight clothes and being cocky and arrogant. Because that is the culture of bodybuilding and in the gym on that level of extreme. On that level of extreme. And Allah knows best.